Welcome to this edition of Pattern Spotlight. Today, we will be reviewing Simplicity's S9545. If you already know how to do my sew alongs and videos, and if you'll be kind enough to watch at least one ad should it appear, which enables me to keep bringing you free content, feel free to skip ahead to go straight to this Pattern Spotlight. Skip ahead to the 3 minute 25 second mark. Here's a little bit about how I do my sew with me sew alongs. For techniques, I'm gonna put it on the website and I will reference it in the sew along itself. So for example, we just did, we're working on a pair of pants that has a fly front. So when we get to that portion in the sew along, I'll do a little bit of it, you know, and in instructions in the sew along itself, but then I'm going to refer you over to the website to go ahead and look at that video, that particular video, look it over, you know, um, study it, do your own sample if you want, because you know I'm big on that technique binder. So go ahead and, you know, and do that. And then once you get a good hang of um, what that technique is, then come back onto the, the sew along itself and do that particular technique with the sew along. So that way, we both kind of benefit. Um, you still get the instruction of the actual sew along, step by step of how to do a particular thing. Um, but I, it's less editing on my part because uh, like I said, I'll mention it in the sew along itself, but then I'll refer you over to the website to actually find that particular technique um, and go ahead, review it, look at it. Um, and then once you master it or enough to where even so long, you know, at the same time and, and install it in that particular so long that you're that you're doing at that time. Um, so hopefully that will be OK for for you, because I think it's a I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank everyone for watching my videos. Um, I love to upload the videos. I love to share my knowledge. Um, and I'm pretty sure that you guys love to get free content. So in order for me to keep uploading uh, free content, I just need you to do some simple things for me, some very simple things. The first thing is just to hit the subscribe button. So just make sure that you hit that um, so you're subscribed to my channel. Hit the notification bell so when I upload a new video, you don't miss out and you get to see it. And then also if, if there's an ad um, on my videos, they're typically anywhere from 10 seconds to maybe up to two minutes. Um, just go ahead and either watch it or do something else you want to do in those uh, in those um, in that particular time that that ad is running. So use the restroom, go get something to drink or something like that, because that way, if you let that ad run, um, I benefit from YouTube and that way I can still keep creating content and uploading it for free. Okay, 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 okay. Enough of that boring stuff. Back to the sew along. Please take a moment to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any uploads. Thanks again, and keep on watching. Okay, so we will be looking at Simplicity's S9545. The garment type is a top. The sewing level is easy. The description is a V-neck pullover top in two limbs. Has options for puff sleeves, sleeveless or long sleeves with elastic at elbow and wrist. Top of bodice has gathered detail and optional purchase trim. The size range, so for body measurement size 10 to 14, the bust is 32 and a half inches to 36 inches. The waist is 25 inches to 28 inches. The hips is 34 and a half inches to 38 inches. For body, body measurement sizes 16 to 22, the bust is 38 inches to 44 inches. The waist is 30 inches to 37 inches and hips are 40 inches to 46 inches. Okay, so let's take a look at the line drawings. So garment elements for view A. So let's do uh, all views. So for all views, V-neck gathered waistline facing narrow hem. For view A, 
um, it's long sleeves with elastic at elbows and wrists and the puff sleeve. Uh, for view B, same as A, except shorter sleeve with sleeve band. And for C, for view C, it's sleeveless. Okay, so let's move on to discuss the suggested fabric choices. You have your batiks, chambray, cotton blends, gauze, ginnum, linen, poplin, and shirtins. So looking at each one individual, so your batiks, um, they're textured, kind of feel like cotton. Um, the dye used um, to create designs on the fabric. So it looks like designs on the fabric, but it's how um, they manip manipulated the dye in order to create the patterns on the fabric. So I'll pop up a picture. That's what this will look like for this particular garment. Next is chambray. Um, it looks like denim, but it's a lighter weight and is typically softer. Um, I'll, so I'll pop up uh, an image of what that would look like for this particular garment. Next up are your cotton blends. And again, your blends, it depends on what fiber is uh, matched with the cotton. So if it's a fiber that's on the stiffer side, um, it will be more of a stiffer type fabric. If it's a fiber that's on the softer side, then it will be a softer fabric. Okay, so depending on the blend or the combo, it can be crisp or soft, again, depending on the fiber content. And I always give the example of, of cotton and poly, you know, that can be more of your cotton crisp type of um, garment versus your cotton and rayon, which will have a more softer, drapier appearance. And I'll pop up image of uh, those two. First is cotton, po uh, cotton poly. That's what this garment would look like. And next is your cotton rayon. All right, moving on to gauze. Gauze is a lightweight, open weave. It's very soft, semi-sheer, and breathable. Um, so I'll pop up what a garment's made with gauze, what that would look like here. Next is gillum. Uh, it's typically made from cotton. It has a checkered pattern, um, and it's usually made up of two different colors, including white. So red and white, blue and white, purple and white, things of that nature. It's lightweight to medium weight, um, and it's breathable. I'll pop up a picture of what uh, a garment made with this fabric would look like. Your linen blends, again, because it's a blend, it's based on um, what the combo, um, you know, the combo, what, what characteristic of that, um, in addition to the linen, will give you the appearance of whatever um, fabric that, that you're having. So if you have a, a linen poplin, I'm sorry, a linen poly, again, that could still be crisp, wrinkle, um, things of that nature. Oh, I'm sorry, with poly, it may not wrinkle as much, but it still will be on the crisp side um, versus a linen rayon, because the rayon is soft, but rayon wrinkles, you, have, you could have a softer um, silhouette, but it still wrinkles. So basically, it's all the characteristics of linen, which is breathable, cool, moisture wicking, things of that nature, um, added with whatever the blend fiber is, okay? So I'll pop up a picture here of what an example of like a linen poly would look like versus a linen and rayon, what that would look like. 
last and I'm going to group these two the poplin and shirtings um, they're like men's dress shirt is kind of what I always describe them as but just less crisp softer more lightweight um, than your typical men's dress shirt and it's very durable so I'll pop up an image of what that would look like with this particular garment okay so let's take a look at how the pattern makers intended this garment to fit its silhouette basically and we're going to use a size 14 which is the mid range okay so um here they only list the finished measurement for bus so we'll just use the bus so the body measurement for bus for size 14 is 36 finished measurement is a third is a 41 the difference is five inches and I'll pop up on the screen uh, the ease chart so you can see that so looking at the ease chart you so you see that the silhouette that the pattern makers intended was is a semi fitted with the range of uh, four and one eighths to five inches so it's at the high end of the semi fitted just to take note, the loose, which is the next size up, is um, range is five and one eighths to eight inches. Now, taking a look at the photo or the pattern envelope, um, that you know, um, since it's at the top end, I will actually probably move up to the loose range um, and maybe do a, a six. So on the loose side, suit six inches so on the loot on the lower end of the loose side because to me it doesn't really look like it's semi-fitted um around the bust um area it more looks like it's on the looser side but the low end of blue so me personally i would probably make my personal ease at six now to take your to find your personal um, ease measurements as usual I'll tell you to take a tape measure um, put it around your bust measurement here um, at your actual bust measurement at the five inches um, that the pattern makers intended it to be and see if that silhouette um, or that fit you know is is what you want and what you intend for this particular garment keeping in mind the look um of the garment on the pattern envelope if it's fine keep it there if you need to adjust it uh, make your adjustments and make note of your personal ease measurement so like i said i'm gonna up mine to the loose um silhouette and on the lower end of loose at six inches for my ease for my bust for this particular garment um, in this particular silhouette so you do the same and make note let's go over the sewing techniques you need to complete this pattern you need the basics which is the straight stitch basting stitch reverse stitch sewing corners and curves including notches and clipping you also need to know how to do v neckline gatherings facing narrow hem elastic casings and basting this concludes the pattern spotlight on simplicity's s9545 if you made this pattern or intend to please let me know in the comments thank you for taking the time to watch this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of content. Thanks again for watching and happy sewing.